Welcome everyone to the Riverside Antler Breakfast. Like every year, the theme of this event is all about supporting local and that flyover of Riverside you just saw included all of our wonderful local sponsors whom we'll share more about in a bit. I'm your host, John Paulson of JNC Toronto Real Estate Group and one of the proud organizers of this year's fundraiser, all in support of the local Rivertown Breakfast Program. I'd encourage you to share a bit about yourself in the chat and participate throughout the event by sharing any comments, questions, or shout outs in the chat throughout. It's so nice to see so many familiar folks. Welcome. While it's the 11th annual Riverside Antler Breakfast, it's our third year hosting this event virtually. And once again, you're in for a special treat. We'll go to some places where the magic happens and we'll be doing some things you wouldn't normally be able to experience in person. While this is great, we hope to be able to get together with you all next year when the Ralph Thornton Community Center's renovations are complete. We thank you sincerely for your support and for joining us here. Our program for today will help you put a face to many of the key folks involved in the Riverside Antler Breakfast and the Rivertown Breakfast Program while adding some ideas to your culinary repertoire, enjoying song and trivia, and hearing from some very special guests. All the while, we have our amazing support local auction with great items from our small business community here in Riverside. You can place your bids online, we'll share the auction link in the chat a few times during today's event, and we'll be showing a run through of online auction items shortly. We'll be keeping the online auction open until December 11th at noon to give everyone time to bid generously. Now, we're gonna to go to a special message from one of our very special guests. The big guy in red and white. Yes, it's Santa. Enjoy this welcome message. Ho, 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 ho. We're happy to come to you once again live from the North Pole for the 11th annual Antler Breakfast. Wanna say a big thank you to all the good boys and girls who sponsored the Antler Breakfast and who've helped prepare the antler breakfast and all the people who make the Rivertown breakfast program happen every year. You've all been so good and we want to say a special happy birthday shout out to Christine. She's been a very, very good girl this year. So thank you all for joining us this morning and we hope you really enjoy our virtual antler breakfast. <laughs> Thanks, Santa. Now, I'm pleased to share some more welcome messages from our elected officials, Councillor Paula Fletcher, MPP Peter Tabbins, and MP Julie DeBruzen, who have all been longtime supporters of this initiative since the beginning. Over to you, Paula, Peter, and Julie. Here we are today with thousands of dollars raised to feed kids and families every week in Rivertown. Thank you so much, everybody, for your fantastic support every year and this year. Hello everyone. It's that time again, time to support the Riverside Antler Breakfast. Time to come together to make sure that the Rivertown Breakfast Program has the support it needs for the year to come. Thanks to everyone who's organized and to all of you who are making a contribution to our community. Have a wonderful holiday season. Hello everybody and welcome to the Riverside Antler Breakfast. This is an amazing event because it combines two things that I love. A dynamic BIA that makes our community so strong and the work of community members to make our community a better place with Joan King and her breakfast program. So many great things to celebrate this morning. Now I'd like to share some background about the Riverside Antler Breakfast and the good cause we are fundraising for the Rivertown Breakfast Program. The Riverside Antler Breakfast was launched in 2011 by Chef Scott as a fundraiser in collaboration with the Riverside BIA and local businesses. Since 2016, the event has been hosted with the Ralph Thornton Community Center, an incredible partner in space that is welcoming and accessible to everyone in the community. While this is the third year we're hosting this event virtually, 
We hope we can get together again next year for this event at the Ralph Thornton Community Center. Chef Scott was like a member of our team. He saw an area of need and he, you know, helped fulfill that. He always made time for community and he's inspired us all to um, get together, support community and uh, do so for a great cause every year. He loved cooking for the community and I'm sure he would be happy to know the Antler Breakfast is continuing. He was a lot of fun. He loved to tell good stories, particularly if he had a glass of wine in his hand. Someone who could always be counted on for some good humor and great food. As many shared, while we truly miss Chef Scott, we're so honored to be carrying on his legacy of giving with this important fundraiser in his memory. Well, as the Antler Breakfast has long supported the Rivertown Breakfast Program, we wanted to share behind the scenes of this incredible work by Joan King and the Rivertown Safety First Group, comprised of women leaders dedicated to making a positive impact in their community. The Breakfast Program runs every Friday year round to provide about 150 children, seniors, and people with different abilities in the local community with a free hot breakfast. It also aims to give folks something to look forward to while building a sense of community. My name is Joan King, the founder of the River Tongue Breakfast Program. When we started, we started with about 27 residents. Since coronavirus, we have over 150 residents that we serve in every Friday from my house that I cook the breakfast. For doing the program for so long, you become a fan, you become your kids. This is Joan, yeah. King. Yeah. She's a king, but she's our queen. Um, actually, I would say about 240 eggs, um, 22 packs of bacon, 8 boxes of pancakes, fruits, cheese, bagel. So okay. she have to eat a certain time, like eight o'clock. So Friday is like for me, it's like break. I don't have to worry about nothing. Just pick up the breakfast here, take there, and they're good to go. John is a blessing to have her. You can see what she does. Anybody need anything, she's there for it. And I would also like to say thanks to the BIA. Thank you to Ralph Totten Center. Thank you, Chef Scott is not there, but I still will tell him thanks, you here up there. And thanks to everybody who support the breakfast program because without this supporting the breakfast program, I don't think we could do a breakfast program in Riverton without that support. What an amazing initiative. Without Joan and the team's hard work, this program would simply not be possible. Now, I'd like to introduce you to Chef Tara Lee, from beloved local Riverside business, Eastbound Brewing Co. If you ordered an antler breakfast brunch box, check out the recipe inside from Chef Tara as she'll be taking us through what's inside the box and how to prepare her recipe. Take it away, Chef Tara. Hi there, my name's Tara Lee. I'm the chef here at Eastbound Brewing Company and I'm super excited to show you what's inside this year's Riverside Antler Breakfast Box. First of all, thank you to everyone who purchased a box. It goes towards supporting the breakfast program. So let's take a look. Okay. So first and most importantly are your antlers that you have to wear well preparing the food. Two of those so you can ask a friend. We've also got uh, some coffee, some smoked salmon. Keep this for yourself. This is delicious. We've got fruit for a fruit salad. 
Oh, look at that. Uh, bagels. Some delicious butter and cream cheese. A couple of juice boxes. Onion. Of course, eggs, very important for brunch. Pea meal bacon. What do we got here? A couple of roasting potatoes. Avocado. We've got capers. Some more fruit, oranges, pomegranate. Wow, lots of fruit. A little bit of baking powder. And of course, a sweet treat for all of your efforts. Okay, so with all these great ingredients, today I've decided to make individual French toast, because whenever I think of like a sort of holiday brunch, I always like something a little bit sweet. Um, so we're gonna use these bagels instead of uh, traditional brioche or bread. We're just gonna cut, um, cut them up into cubes like we would our regular bread. Uh, if you have time, you could always do this the night before and leave it out. Um, the sort of staler the bread is, the better, because it tends to soak up all of your delicious liquid. But bagels are nice and dense, so I think it'll actually be okay. This is also great too if you find that you have a couple of these bagels left over after you've had your brunch. So we've got our bagels all cut up just like we would our French toast bread. We're gonna make a, just a small custard. So I'm gonna take some cream. We're gonna add three eggs. and a couple tablespoons of brown sugar. You can use white sugar or a, some a sweetener supplement if, you're, if you choose to. And then I'm just gonna blend it up. I'm gonna pour that all on top. And really let it soak in. So while that's soaking in, um, you're gonna butter up your muffin tins. You could also use uh, like cupcake liners or something like that if you wanted to get some Christmassy ones. Okay, so now we're gonna fill up our tins. This is nice because you can always make it the day before and that way when you wake up the next day, you're just gonna pop it in the oven to rewarm it and breakfast is ready to go. Really pack it in there. So all that custard's gonna come out. Delicious. All right, we're just gonna pour a little bit of this on top. Great. So once everything is in your muffin tins, you're gonna pop it in your oven that you've preheated to 375 for about 25 to 30 minutes. You just want the custard to be set and the toast to be browned on top. Uh, while we wait for that, we can make a little fruit salad. So much great fruit here to choose from, so you can kind of pick your favorites. I've got pineapple, I've got watermelon, and I've got some grapes. Perfect, so we'll let that hang out and we're gonna make um, a cream cheese topper for our French toast for when it comes out of the oven. So I've softened some of the cream cheese. Um, maybe takes maybe an hour, you can put it on top of the fridge while it kind of hangs out. So this is just softened cream cheese. I'm gonna put a little bit of icing sugar in there to sweeten it. And we're just gonna mix that up. Once your French toasts have come out of the oven, uh, you can let them cool slightly or you can serve them warm. Um, we're just gonna pop them out. I like to put a little bit of maple syrup on mine. We're gonna add that cream cheese topper. and a little bit of our Eastbound Brewing spent granola that you're also getting in your box, which is really fun. It's full of like oats and seeds and coconut and some nuts and dried fruit, uh, maple syrup and all the delicious warm spices. And we use a bit of our spent grain. So um, whenever Dave brews beer, there's always sort of a, a byproduct to that. And we try to do our part by using some of that up. And so we're just gonna put a little bit of that right down on the plate and we'll serve it with our fruit salad on the side. Okay, so here we have our individual French toast with cream cheese topper and Eastbound Brewing spent granola and a side of fruit salad. Thanks, Chef Tara. 
We'll be bringing in other local chefs for more delicious brunch recipe ideas soon. But first, we're taking a break for some Riverside Antler Breakfast holiday trivia with Santa and Miss Candy Claus. You may remember her from last year. She says she's Santa's granddaughter. And they're both coming to us from Santa's place. We're looking for audience participation. Whoever gets the correct answer to each trivia question in the chat first gets an amazing local gift bag from the Riverside BIA. Hello everyone, I'm Miss Candy Cane Claus, Santa's granddaughter. Never heard of me? Well, I've taken after my mother and pursued a career path as a holiday trivia show host. Okay, well, let's have some fun. First question to help you warm up, put your answer in the chat and the first one to get the right answer to each of these skill testing questions um, will be sent a fabulous local gift from the Riverside BIA. Now, first question, what's the postal code for Santa's home in the North Pole? It's H-O-H-O-H-O. -H -O -H -O. Ho, ho, ho. Awesome. Second question, how many reindeer are there, including Rudolph? Type in the chat. Oh, that's an easy one, right? Nine. So third question, this one's about the Riverside Antler Breakfast. What anniversary will it be for next year's Riverside Antler Breakfast? This one involves a little bit of math. Okay, you got it. The answer is the 12th. And another fun question, which popular Christmas drink is also called Milk Punch? Anyone got this one? Yes, eggnog. And I could use a little bit of that right now. Oh. <laughs> Steady now. Steady now. <laughs> oh, that's great. All right, final question for the bonus round. We'll be getting a white Christmas this year. I guess no one really knows the answer to that, but here's wishing for it. <laughs> Thanks for playing holiday trivia. Over and out from Ms. Candy Claus and Santa. And back to you, John. Call me for your kids. <laughs> Thanks to Santa and Candy Claus, and congratulations to the winners. Now, everyone, don't forget to bid online for our local auction items. I'm so happy to introduce at this time our Santa level supporter for the Riverside Antler Breakfast, Outline Financial. They're an incredible team of local mortgage brokers here in Riverside who not only get you the best rates, but truly care about the community and show that through their ongoing support. They've been an incredible Santa supporter of the Riverside Antler Breakfast since 2018. Here's a message from Jason Friesen on behalf of the Outline team. Hey everyone, I'm Jason Friesen with Outline Financial. Welcome to the 11th annual Riverside Antler Breakfast in support of the Rivertown Breakfast Program. I'm proud to say this is my sixth year as a Santa sponsor for this important event. I'd like to say a special thanks to Joan King for all of the hard work she does and all of our sponsors for making sure that this important event takes place every year. This program helps provide hot breakfast every Friday for the Rivertown community. I hope you enjoy today's event. Thanks again to the Outline team. We're gonna be bringing in another special guest shortly. But just before that, we wanna take a moment to recognize and thank our other Riverside Antler Breakfast community supporters. Next up, we're heading back into the kitchen with Chef Singh from the Broadview Hotel to share another tasty recipe using the ingredients from the Riverside Antler Breakfast Brunch Box. And don't forget to check your box for a copy of that recipe. 
Hello, my name is Richard. I'm the executive chef at the Broadview Hotel, and today we're going to be making, uh, with our brunch box ingredients, uh, potato roasty, smoked salmon, poached eggs, and some cream cheese. The first step would be to make sure you've got a pan warming up for your roasty uh, and some water ready to poach your eggs. We're using the potato included in the box. Um, I just parboiled this for about 25 minutes. So you put the potato into cold water, bring it up to a boil, and just let it simmer for about 25 minutes. You don't want it to be too soft, um, but just soft enough that a knife easily penetrates it, like that. So next we're going to peel the potato. And this comes off pretty easily. It is important to make sure you don't overcook the potatoes because if you do, uh, for the next step, they might just turn to mush and uh, we'll lose a, a, a bit of that good texture that we're looking for. So the next thing we're gonna do is take a box grater and using the large holes, we're just gonna go ahead and grate the potato. So we're gonna go ahead and just season the potatoes with a little bit of salt. And now we'll take some of the butter that's included in the box. Probably about two tablespoons is what you're looking for and we'll put that into our preheated pan. I would recommend using a nonstick pan. Uh, it just makes the process a little bit easier, um, but this, this will work fine in a stainless steel, aluminum, or a cast iron pan as well. All right, so once our butter is foaming, slightly browned, we can lower the heat to about medium and go ahead and get the potatoes in. So we'll put that back on the heat, keep the heat at a medium so we don't scorch the potatoes. So now using a rubber spatula, you just kind of want to press the potatoes down gently so that they compress a little bit. And at this point, you're going to let the roasty cook for about 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, we just want to develop a nice golden brown crust on the bottom. With cooking, it's always important to kind of think ahead in a recipe, um, making sure you have everything ready um, before you start the process. So we're poaching eggs. Um, I've got my water at a gentle simmer. Uh, I have my eggs at slightly room temperature. I have my tray with some paper towel to drain the eggs after. Um, it just makes the whole process a bit more streamlined um, and makes cooking more enjoyable at home. This recipe is also very easy to scale up. Uh, I'm making a small portion right now, but uh, which will probably feed about two people, uh, depending if I poach more eggs or not. But we can easily scale this up to feed a family of four, six or eight very easily. So I'm going to take two eggs and crack them into a bowl. It's always important to crack your eggs on a flat surface. Um, a lot of people will crack it on the, the edge of the, the, the bowl like this. You could end up breaking the yolk or get more shells into the eggs. So my little tip, just crack it on a flat surface. Now, poaching eggs um, is a pretty simple concept, but I feel like certain times people, uh, they can be a bit intimidated by it. Um, one simple trick I have uh, for gauging the amount of vinegar you need is to cover the eggs with vinegar in the bowl. So this is just white distilled vinegar. And what the vinegar does is it helps us set the egg whites so that they're nice and firm once they're, once they're poached. You just want your water at a gentle simmer. It doesn't need to be a rolling boil. So yeah, just like that. And what we do is just swirl with a spoon and then get the eggs and the vinegar in together. And you'll see almost instantly the whites start to firm up around the yolk. We're going for a soft poached egg here. It's a minute and 30 to two minutes, but feel free to cook them a bit longer uh, to your desired doneness. So while those eggs are cooking, uh, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at our roasty. You want to give the pan a shake every so often just to make sure it's nothing sticking at the bottom. All right, so these poached eggs are almost ready. They do cook pretty quickly. Um, we're just looking to make sure that the white is set and that the yolk is still runny. I'm actually going to pull these out right now. Now, poached eggs are something that you could do ahead of time. You could do this the day before. Um, and then the, the, when you're ready to serve them, they just get reheated in some simmering water for about 30 seconds. Okay, so when it comes time to flip the, the roasty, we're gonna take a plate and just put it over the frying pan. And then with one smooth motion, invert it. Beautiful. Now we're just going to gently get this back into the pan so the other side can get cooked. And this should take another five to 10 minutes on this side. Perfect. So after about five to 10 minutes, uh, we should have had a nice crust form on the bottom of the potatoes again. Uh, and we're gonna re remove this to a cutting board and just let it cool for a couple of minutes. Okay, so now we're ready to assemble our plate. I'm going to cut the roasty into four pieces. You can do it in any shape you want. You can keep it rustic. 
whatever makes you happy. So what you're looking for with this is a nice crusty exterior and then soft and fluffy in the center. So they will be delicate. I'm gonna go with two pieces. We're gonna use some of the cream cheese that's included in the box. I'm just gonna use an offset spatula to go ahead and get that little chefy smear on the plate. Not necessary, but you know, us chefs, we like to make things look pretty. So on top of the cream cheese, I'm gonna use something that's not included in the box. Uh, this is just an everything bagel mix. It's a combination of white sesame seeds, poppy seeds, some crispy shallots, crispy garlic, and a little bit of caraway. So we're just gonna add some of the everything bagel crumb on top of the cream cheese. So next, we're gonna use the smoked salmon that's included in the box. So next, we're gonna go with our poached eggs. One there. One there. And as a last little garnish, this is also something not included in the box, um, but you might have kicking around at home. Dill is a pretty classic pairing to go with salmon. A couple pieces of dill. And last touch is just a little bit of flaky salt on our eggs. And there you have it. Uh, we've got our potato roasty, cream cheese with everything bagel crumb, smoked salmon, and poached eggs. Enjoy. Thank you, Chef Singh. That looks absolutely delicious. Next year, we're hoping to be able to host the Riverside Antler Breakfast back in the Ralph Thornton Community Center. It has always been such a fun event and a great opportunity to spend time in person with our neighbors, business owners, and community leaders while raising money for a great cause. Now for a quick look back at some of our past fun at the RTCC. We hope to see you in person next year once the renovations are complete. Last, but certainly not least for our antler breakfast brunch box recipes, we have a delicious cooking demo from Joan King, the chef behind the Rivertown breakfast program herself. Let's see what delectable dish Joan has cooked up in her kitchen. So hi, my name is Chef Joan King. I'm introducing a dish from our Riverside antler breakfast box. It's very simple, very easy to do. The first thing I will be doing, I'm trying to make a hash with pea meal bacon. So I peel my potato, which I already did, on a grater, the thicker side of the grater, I grate that potato. I add this into a bowl. I cut the pea meal bacon into strips, like this. So I will add the pea meal bacon into the potato, I have a mix of seasoning. So this is seasoned salt, less than half a teaspoon. I also have garlic powder, ginger powder, onion powder, and black pepper. So I add that into the pea meal bacon and the potato, and you mix it into that bowl together. So actually, you're supposed to have your pot at a certain temperature. So I will say like maybe 300 if you have a flat pan. If you're on the stove, you go medium. So I want it to get hot, but not too hot. So I will take like just a little piece of butter. I put it on my flat pan. Goes around so it wouldn't get burned. Everything cook evenly. So now I could add my hash with pea meal bacon. But the cooking for it is six to eight minutes. So I'll put a little more butter 
And I will try to toast my bagel and you put it face down first to make sure it's cooking properly. So I'm gonna just cook the bagel, bagel like less than three minutes, front and back, to make sure it toasts properly. And while that is going on, I am gonna do my cream cheese and avocado spread. Maybe 200 grams of your cream cheese. For the avocado, I just use a spoon and you scoop it out, it's easier. So I add my avocado with the cream cheese. And I like to use just a tip of olive oil, less than half a teaspoon olive oil. And just a little tip of salt. It's up to you, if you don't want salt, you don't have to. You could just continue to do it how you want. So I'll go back to my hash. I think I need to flip it. You see it's nice and golden. That's why I want it. And I will also check my bagel, which I need gonna flip also. If you don't have a hand blender, use whatever is comfortable for you. So I blend it. I also will take the spoon and just give it a little mixing. I'm gonna to try to plate it right now. Then I use some of my avocado spread with cream cheese. I do the both sides because I love the creaminess. So this is my avocado spread on my bagel. So, some people eat the salmon, smoked salmon, right from the pack, which is okay. But for me, I like a little, just a little heat in it. A little heat. Less than a minute. I will flip this again, just to make sure everything cooks properly. This is my one egg. I want to do over easy, so I crack my one egg. It's right here. I add a little salt. Salt and black pepper, a little. I think my salmon is ready. I don't want to overcook it because it's already cooked. So I'm just, I just need a little heat. So I think this is fine to go. I also think my hash is ready. So I'm going to take out my hash now. It's nice. Nice and caramel. So a minute and a half on one side, then I flip the other side. With an over easy egg, how you will know if it's ready, you just put your finger right here to the middle. So you see like this, this is ready. It's not too hard, but it's still a little gluey. That's what you want. I will put my potato first because I need some balance in this bagel. I don't want to put the egg first. I will add the salmon, and I will also add my capers. But I will just add like maybe six, seven capers into it. And now my over easy egg is on the top. So I'm trying to make a food bowl from all these fruits. So I just give it a stir. Next, we add the fruit salad onto my bagel and my salmon, smoked salmon, with avocado and cream cheese spread. And I think this is a perfect breakfast from the Riverton community. Now I'm really hungry, and I can't wait to prepare these dishes with my own Riverside Antler Breakfast brunch box. But first, let's enjoy a festive medley of It's the Most Wonderful Time of the Year by our Antler Breakfast special guests. We'll have the words up on screen karaoke style, so feel free to sing or hum along from home. It's the most wonderful time of the year. With the kids jingle belling and everyone telling you be of the cheer. It's the most wonderful time of the year. It's the hap happiest season of all. With those holiday greetings and gay happy meetings when friends come to call. It's the hap happiest season of all.
thank you to all of our guests, organizers, and community supporters for making time and lending your energy to support the 11th annual Riverside Antler Breakfast. Well folks, the event is drawing to a close. Once again, don't forget to go and bid in our online auction, which is open until December 11th at noon. We've put that link in the chat once again, and our team will also be sharing it with you by email after the show. You've been an incredible audience. Thank you again for your support, and please keep supporting local here in Riverside. Enjoy the rest of your day, everyone.